In our politics lead today, right now, President Trump is in Texas, which is set to pass New York as the state with the third most coronavirus cases in the country. We know that Republican Congressman Louis Gohmert of Texas was supposed to be on Air Force One traveling with the president today, but Gohmert was tested in preparation for that flight, and he tested positive for the coronavirus. Gohmert has been publicly dismissive about wearing a mask and was seen walking with Attorney General Bill Barr on Capitol Hill yesterday, neither of them uh, wearing a mask uh, during this period. CNN White House correspondent Jeremy Diamond joins me now live. And Jeremy, we're just learning now about a second Republican who was scheduled to be with President Trump who has also tested positive for the virus. That's right, Jake. And look, there has long been a double standard as it relates to President Trump and testing. He has lamented uh, the amount of testing in the country, said he wants to slow down testing in the United States, while at the same time having one of the most robust testing protocols uh, at the White House. And today, that testing protocol has prevented not one, but two Republicans who were set to be with the president today uh, from being in his presence and potentially contaminating him with coronavirus. In addition to Congressman Louis Gohmert, we're also now learning that Wesley Hunt, a Republican candidate for Texas's seventh congressional district also tested positive as he was on his way uh, to the airport to greet President Trump in Texas. Now, as far as Louis Gohmert is concerned, Jake, in addition to not wearing a mask, he uh, told our colleague Manu Raju that if I get coronavirus, I'll wear a mask. But of course, Jake, we know that's just not how it works. Well, Mr. Speaker, a Republican congressman who has repeatedly refused to wear a mask now testing positive for coronavirus hours before he was scheduled to join President Trump on Air Force One. I didn't have any of the symptoms that you see listed for the coronavirus. Texas Congressman Louis Gohmert spotted on Capitol Hill just yesterday maskless, walking near Attorney General Bill Barr, getting his diagnosis at the White House this morning. But Gohmert didn't immediately isolate himself. Instead, he returned to his congressional office to tell his staff in person. Some members of Gohmert's staff telling Politico the congressman would berate them for wearing masks and wanted every member of his staff in the office to show what reopening looked like. Democrats slamming his conduct. I'm concerned about the irresponsible behavior of many uh, of the Republicans who have chosen to consistently flout well-established public health guidance. Gohmert isn't owning up to the role his defiance of CDC guidelines may have played in him contracting the virus. Instead, he's blaming mask wearing without any evidence. In the last week or two, I have worn a mask more than I have in the whole last four months. I can't help but wonder if by keeping a mask on and keeping it in place that if I might have uh, put uh, some germs, some, virus, some of the virus onto the mask and breathed it in. I don't know. As for President Trump, he's inched away from his anti-mask stance recently. But he is still focused on promoting a drug scientists overwhelmingly agree is an ineffective coronavirus treatment. This virus has a cure. It is called hydroxychloroquine, zinc, and zitromax. After retweeting a video of a fringe doctor making bogus claims about hydroxychloroquine, Trump is sticking by his praise. Uh, there was a, a woman who was spectacular in her statements about it. Even after she was exposed for making bizarre claims about alien DNA and sex with demons. I think she made sense, but I know nothing about it. I just saw her on you know, making a statement with very respected doctors. And the president isn't just watching the videos. Vice President Mike Pence meeting with the group the doctor belongs to, branded as America's frontline doctors and propped up by the Tea Party, at the White House just yesterday to discuss hydroxychloroquine. There's no evidence those doctors are treating patients on the front lines of the pandemic. Dr. Anthony Fauci once again reminding the public hydroxychloroquine does not work. But right now, today, the cumulative scientific data that has been put together and done over a number of different studies has shown no efficacy. And Jake, today President Trump is focusing once again on those racially charged appeals to white suburban voters. The president tweeting, I'm happy to inform all of the people living their suburban lifestyle dream that you will no longer be bothered or financially hurt by having low income housing built in your neighborhood. The veil, Jake, as the president makes his appeal to the suburbs where he is losing support is really becoming thinner and thinner veiled.